Now, 12 days ago, I was contacted by this person in America uh, called Regina. Now, this particular person um, wanted to offer me a color palette. and says, Paul, I'll send you a color palette so you can try out the colors which I, which I have. So I had a look at her website and she sells handmade watercolors, also brushes and other artist materials as well. Now, this parcel, so this was 12 days ago, finally arrived and it's now Sunday, it arrived on Friday. I and my partner Joe was away for the day. <laughs> so our neighbors very kindly took it in, only to find out when we got back late on Friday, not very late, so we couldn't call around and see the neighbor. Um, the neighbor went on holiday the following morning. And fortunately, they'd just gone back, got back this evening, just went out for a few couple of days. So I finally got it. And this, are you ready for this? This is what I've received. now. I'm just finishing cutting out the top. Now, if I just move my watercolour out of the way a minute, because it's going to slide everywhere down there, and I'll have a look, move my tablet out of the way as well a little bit, as well. that's better, a little bit more space. And we'll have a look what this says. So on the top of there, it's got, make something beautiful, Regina's watercolour.com, okay? Bit of advertising for it, but I think she deserves it after sending us all the way from the USA. I'm going to have a look to see what it's all about. So here we go, you ready? Oh, I'm excited. Because we've exchanged numerous emails over the past few, <laughs> two or three days saying, has it arrived? No, it should have arrived Thursday. You didn't get there till Friday. And just typical that um, we were away on the day it did arrive. And the only day during the week that we actually went away. So, never mind, it's here now. So I'm just going to have a look. I think that's all of it. And see what we've got inside. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Ooh, here we go, you ready? I'll open it that way. Oh, look at that. The Devon Artist. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, thank you very much indeed. See, that's a lot of time and effort just in, just doing that alone. Thank you, it's very kind. I like that okay Ooh, excited and inside we can see there's a lovely box nicely tied with a little bow as well and that lovely this is very well presented presented should the second to get the words out this is 10 o'clock at night by the way at the moment and I thought well, just uh, I'm so excited about this I've been excited about this for the past um, few days really waiting for it to arrive and then when I couldn't get my hands on it, it's like uh, Okay, so I'll just put the box out of the way. That's lovely, that. Thank you very much indeed. It's nice to kind of see that somebody's taken the time and effort to make a presentation. Right, okay, ready? I'm gonna just put that there. Let's undo this lovely bit of ribbon here. Okay. It's like product testing. Well, that's what I'll be doing, by the sounds of things. And inside, here we go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> because my, it was my 50th birthday in February, by the way. Okay, so so when you look at this, hopefully I'll be able to zoom in on the camera for you. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just quickly do it for you now. One second. There you go. Is that better? Let's give a quick focus. There we go. That's better. Paul, happy 50th birthday. Thank you so much for your tutorials. I can't wait to try and paint a bird again. I love your tip to start with the eye, and once that's all set painting, the rest in stages is very nice. I've included my last sample palette I used to do photos and such. Uh, the rest should be here in the next few weeks. So for the gentle wear on the case, where? <laughs> this package is a very different travel brush as my brushes too are not here yet. Since this brush won't fit in the case, I added a few small pans you can add other colours to as these paints should mix well with others. I look forward to another 50 years of your art. Thank you, Regina. Well, Regina, thank you very much indeed. That's very kind of you. How lovely is that? That is lovely, isn't it? Oh, oh. Oh, I've got this warm feeling inside. Thank you very much indeed. Right, okay. Are you ready for this? I'll just zoom out a little bit. And we'll just try this out a minute. Just quickly focus that back for you. Okay, there we go. That should do. Right. So you're going to see this exactly the same as I'm going to see it. I've not seen this yet, honestly. And we'll see what we've got inside here. Now then. In another box. 
We've got another ribbon. So the same box, we've got a ribbon. Another ribbon. Regina, you, you've done yourself proud here. You really have. And these ribbons will get used by my partner, Joe, by the way. We'll make use of them. They will not get wasted or thrown away, neither will the box. They're the kind of people that make use of everything that we get. And inside, <laughs> there's a bag. Okay, it's like Russian dolls, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, hang on, there's something down there as well. So this is like a velvety kind of field bag. And inside here, so as you can see, make something beautiful, reginaswatercolor.com. So have a look at her website, I did have a look. And uh, she's got some little, little products on there. It's well worth having a nose. So I will, looks like I'll be doing a product test for you, Regina, won't I? So colour res recipes, strawberry, uh, so you've got rose, poppy, sunflower, you've got amethyst, fuchsia and violet, so you've got seashore, aquarium, and delphinium and daffodil, tangerine, poppy and sunflower, Sedona poppy and violet, uh, lead coal, blueprint and rose and stone. We've got chocolate and delphinium. There's, oh, there's more to it, hang on. So these are pans of sticky also. <laughs> So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll leave that on the screen. So all you have to do is pause the video to save me reading every single word here. Okay, so I'll just hang on there for you. I'm hanging. I pause the video and then get ready to play it again. Okay, right, here we go. Right, so I'm going to read that in a minute off camera. So thank you, Regina. I can't read it all. <laughs> I'll be here all night. I really will. But this is fantastic. I'm just going to have a look at these in a minute. And there's even a colour chart here as well. So that's lovely, isn't it? Nicely laminated, thick laminate as well. You can take the watercolour paper out of the sleeve and then put your own little colour swatches on the paper. And obviously this is just to protect the case. So we can, like you do get on your mobile phone, this is just a case protector. And inside here, wow, look at that. Now, isn't that lovely? Actually, what I understand with this is that you peel these colours off, which they're all on their own little metal cases. And the metal cases magnetise inside the colour tray. So quite a clever idea. So the colours you can see there are what's in... There's my face there, look. Are what's in the pan. Oh, I'm looking forward to having a play with these. So what I'll do, I'll do a colour testing on these and have a really good play with these during the week. And I'll let you know how I get on. I'll video the process as well. And I put it both on Patreon and on YouTube for people to watch. Um, on behalf of Regina as well, and I will give an honest opinion as well. She knows her well. And that's the idea of doing reviews. So I'm going to do that for her. That looks very professional, doesn't it? It really does. Very impressive indeed. Okay, just put that to one side. Okay, so I've added a few small pans you can add other colours too, as these should mix well with others. So these are the empty pans where you can actually put your tube paints in if need be, which is what I've done before with a larger pan. So when you look at something like these here, the larger versions, these are going to be quite neat to use as well, aren't they? They really are. So you don't forget that the main painting box, which uh, Regina supplies here, is magnetic. And because these are metal, they're just magnetised to the base of the box. So you don't need to do anything other than pop them in and get some colour in there. So I quite like that idea as well, just something that's simply magnetised to the base. Um, so yeah, yeah, quite novel. Okay, and as you can see, isn't that lovely? Oh, Regina, that's lovely, that. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> now that is superb, don't you think so? Isn't that lovely? And that, looking at it, it's obviously got the... Um, the solution on there to keep it a nice fine point during uh, transportation as well. But that's how it will look, um, I assume, obviously, because I've not tested it out yet, when I have a go at playing with this particular one. And I will. I will have a really good go with that. So that's a lovely brush, I must admit. Hands off to you, Regina. You've done a cracking job there. That is really nice. And the presentation is unbelievable. It really is. So there you go. Oh, hang on. What's this? There's something else yet. Okay, where's my pen knife? Very lightly, I don't want to score through to the, uh, to the carded background. Strathmore. 
So we'll see the paper type. So this is a glued block of Strathmore paper. And that looks like a guitar pick, doesn't it? Within there. Let's have a quick look. Insert tool behind the top sheet. So that's exactly what you do. The same as the blocks of pads which I use, you know the Bockingford ones, the, the block pads where it's glued all the way around. Over then, as you can see, a little section on the top where you can in <laughs> insert this little uh, insertion tool, which is to me like a guitar pick, right into the tiny gap between the sheets and then very carefully keeping it level. Don't tilt it down or anything like that, so I'll just take it off the paper. Keep it level all the way around to, to remove that piece of paper. But that is lovely. That really is really very, very nice indeed. Okay, so there we go. That's all the bits and bobs which has arrived today. Well, arrived on Friday. I've got them today. I'm going to place them all down. I'll zoom out a little bit for you so you can just see what I'm playing with here. And as you can see, I've got a lot to play with and I'm kind of get my head round. I better go out even further now. Look, there you go. Look, is that better? Got the edge of the board in there. Let's just pull that back a little bit. Nice little note. Of course, the watercolour paints, as I mentioned before, which I'm looking forward to having to play with. Handmade as well, bearing in mind. These are handmade, so it'd be interesting to see what they're like. And apparently, you've got to put them in the fridge for an hour or two first. Just kind of hard them up a little bit, because they get a little bit warm in transportation. So, once they've been chilled a little bit, you can take the thin film plastic membrane off the top. And then, you can pop them out and put them into your, uh, your main case which obviously is supplied. So all I can say is, Regina, thank you very much indeed for sending all these through all the way from America. And I'll promise you I'll give you an honest test on how I get on with these. And I'll actually do a painting with them as well, not just testing with the paints. I'll do a full painting with these, uh, even on a smaller scale. And we'll see how I can produce the painting. And I'll tell you what I'll actually do as well. I do the painting on your Strathmore paper. Okay, I'll do a mini painting on there or something or other and I'll let you know how I get on. So thank you indeed for watching this and I'll talk to you again very soon, especially when I'm doing the test on these new paints. Okay, so until then, I'll say bye-bye for now and thank you to uh, Regina from, if you remember, that was reginaswatercolour.com. Okay, and it's just there on that little bit of card. Talk to you again very soon. Bye.